Hello and welcome to another Spotlight Photographics and Photo Solutions Market online tutorial video. Today we're going to be talking about the game day tents and specifically how to create one of these mock-up systems that we have uh, given you and how to actually create this to be one of the images that you have possibly created. Um, Unlike the shirt templates or the sportswear templates that we have, uh, it's not as easy as just dragging in your final artwork and masking it into the template that we provided to make the mock-up. This one actually is going to require some uh, special steps to get all the different perspective looks to actually put it in a tent. Obviously, it's not going to be exactly perfect, but it's at least something good enough to show a customer and have them get an idea of how their tent is going to look after you've designed it using our templates. So let's get started. So first thing I'm going to do is just go ahead and remove all of these layers of the artwork. So once you've removed the artwork that is in your PSD file mockup, uh, you'll see this. It's just a blank tent. Now just so we know which layer is which, we can always turn off the eye drops over here to see. And you'll notice that the first one here, layer 2, is the right side of the tent. And layer 1 is the left side of the tent. So what we're going to do is layer 2 is this side, layer 1 is this side here. So let's get started. First thing we're going to do is work on the right side. So I'm going to drag in the side that I'm going to show my customers is the main part, which is usually going to be the subject side or the player side. So first thing we're going to do is get this so that we can cut out the pieces. Okay, the, you can't just drag this entire thing into the uh, the template there and mask it. What you actually have to do is cut this bottom piece off. So we're going to be working with this in two different sections. So the first thing we're going to do is take our marquee tool and we're just going to highlight the bottom section there. Now if you're on a, on a PC, if you hold down Control, Shift, and J, that is going to automatically separate those two layers. So if we turn off the top of the tent, we are left with just the bottom. So we're going to get worked on this first. We're going to bring this up and we're going to mask it into that layer. To do that, we're going to bring it down to layer two and we're going to hold down the Alt key and put our mouse between the two layers, which is going to create this different icon. And then we're going to click and that's going to mask it in. So now what we're going to do is do a free transform, which is control T on a PC. And we're just going to size it into that spot. Now, if you notice, the tent is at a different angle. So what we're going to do is actually shift this in a second. We're going to right click on that before we apply it. And we're going to say skew. Then we're going to grab the bottom corner here. And we're going to drag up. And that is going to give it that perspective of the side of the tent. And we'll bring this one up just a little bit. There we go. Now we can apply that. And that's all we need to do for this side. Now we're going to work on the top. So we're going to turn that one back on. And before I mask this into the tent, we are going to actually do a transform on this and size it so that the bottom is the same width as the top of that bar there. Okay, we'll go ahead and apply that so that we can mask it in now. And we're going to mask it into the layer below it. All right, so now we're going to do the same thing we did with the bottom one, except we're going to do it with the top. So we're going to do a transform, control T. We're going to right click and say skew again. And we're going to bring this up just like that. And we'll bring this one up as well. So now it's at the angle of the top of the tent. Now what we're going to do is hit control T again to get out of the skew function. And then we can grab the top of this and smash it down. Now if we right click and say skew again, we can grab the middle and pull it over and then we just center it up. And at that point we have that where we want it and we can say okay. So there's that side of the tent. This is the easier side to do because this side has a much 
different angle than this one does. So now that we have this one done, we can go ahead and leave this one alone and let's bring in the other file. So we're going to be doing the jersey number side. Same thing, we're going to bring this down a little bit so we can select things. Now if you're on a, uh, a Photoshop CS4 or above, you will have to rasterize this image before you could edit it. To do that, we're just going to right click on it in the layers. Say rasterize layer. Now that's going to allow us to cut this apart. So just like we did before, marquee tool, draw around it, control shift J, duplicates and cuts it, and we'll turn off the bottom one again. So now we're going to bring this up, and the quickest way I've found to do it is to do another transform, smash it all the way over, and then we do our skews again. So we're going to right click and say skew, grab this corner, bring it up, grab this side, bring it down, and then grab this one and line it up. And let's go ahead and mask this into layer one. The layer one again is this side. Okay, that's good. And we're going to go back up to the tent top again, turn that back on, and we're going to do the same thing we did for the right side, and we're going to make this the same width as this. We will skew, bring it down, grab the center, and bring it over. Now at this point you can see it's going over this, so we're going to say OK, and let's go ahead and mask that into the layers now. So we're going to bring it down to the layer 1 masks, hold down the Alt key, and click, and now we can continue doing this again. So we're going to do another Control T free transform, and let's go ahead and bring this up to about the right height, right click and say skew, and drag this over. And come over here, drag this down. You're just going to be playing with this until you get it to the right angles that you like. Continually dragging and clicking on different angles to manipulate it to the right angle that you want it to be. Do another transform. Bring this up a little bit. And there we go. So there's your finished product that you can show your customer. Again, thank you for coming by and watching another Spotlight Photographics and Photo Solutions Market Tutorial. We will be putting more tutorials up as we have the time to do so. And again, thank you for stopping by and hopefully uh, you can find more products just like this on our website, photosolutionsmarket.com. Thank you very much. Have a great day.